it's delightful to see so many people here today. Thank you so much for coming out. And uh, you can mark your calendar the second Thursday of every month. We'll finish up in May, then we'll pick up again in September. We leave the summer months for the camp people who are here. But um, this is every second Thursday. And you don't even have to mark down who the artist is because they'll be wonderful. <laughs> Everyone has been just outstanding. And one of the things that they have uh, mentioned all the way through is that you have to start with the basics. So I'll get into that later because we finally have someone here who's going to take us back to the basics. But this is sponsored by the Sterling Society. And we are an organization that is part of the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. And we do a lot of uh, events and fundraising. We have a big fundraiser that's coming up on February 3rd. That's on a Friday. And it's our Founders Lunch. We honor the patron of the arts at that time. And we are honoring this time all of the donors who have donated to the expansions that the Dunning Fine Arts Center has had. We've had the original building and three expansions. And uh, so we've invited all of those people to come and uh, celebrate with us. The Sterling Society has two other programs that are got in the planning stages. One is about antiques and the other one is an, an African community. We have done this uh, particular uh, photo session before with music. It was so well received that everyone wanted to see it again. We had it in the daytime, but this time we're going to do it in the evening. So um, watch announcements. Uh, make sure you get on the email list for the Dunning Fine Arts Center because you'll get the notices about all of these things. The final event that we do for the Sterling Society for this season is on May 12th. It's a Saturday, just become Mother's Day. And we have a very lovely Mother's Day too. Everybody gets dressed up and we do actually have tea and a little tea cookies and tea sandwiches. Next year, we have a really big event planned and we're calling it Men Off on Fire. And they're on fire for art. And we're going to get some chefs and I believe it's going to be at Weaver Park, and they are going to be cooking, and uh, as a participant in it, you'll be able to go around and sample all of the foods that they're cooking. So keep those things in mind. Um, there might be some spaces back there. Should be one more. The, uh, the next speaker we have happens to be here today. His name is Mitch Cole. There's a picture right there. He's going to talk to us. He's a sculptor and he's also a plein air uh, artist. And uh, so he will be one of the speakers. But I said, you don't have to know who they are. Just come because you'll be overwhelmed. And then after that, on March 8th, we have Elizabeth Coachman. And she is involved with it. She has also done some teaching here at the Art Center. But today we have Joseph Weinzettel. And he has a, um, a bachelor's and a master's degree in fine arts. So he's got the basics uh, as his foundation. He was originally from Pittsburgh, <coughs> spent seven years in New York City, but he spent the last 20 years here in Florida. So telling us about plein air art and the basics of drawing is Joseph Mansell. Thank you, Johanna and Ken. Uh, I'm thrilled to present to this capacity crowd. Uh, basic drawing has apparently come a long way. That's good to see. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, welcome. Um, what, what we're going to do today um, is first demonstrate the basic drawing techniques that we do in my class. Uh, and those are three um, essential techniques. Um, hard bond charcoal. That's this stuff. It's real charcoal uh, from a wooded vine or willow sometimes uh, that's carbonized uh, from a baking process. And uh, graphite pencil. Um, this is an uh, e e ebony design pencil. You'll have to take my word for it. I've worn down the uh, uh, 
label a long time ago. Uh, bamboo brush and ink. Um, and I really like to use um, these techniques with beginning students because it forces them to work a little looser, a little larger scale, get more arm movement, and not so uh, precise and tight. Um, some beginning students have a conception that uh, drawing equals academic realism. And that's a style, it's not, you know, the style. Um, getting a nice combination of line and tone, you know, that, that can make your drawings or paintings art. Uh, so it's not necessarily the, the kind of precise realism that some uh, beginners think. Um, I will give you the basic tools to work toward real, realism or abstract uh, expressionism, uh, what, what, whatever your preferences are. Now, the, uh, with a bamboo brush, um, we use black India or brown ink. Um, and it's um, just kind of curious, you know, in some cultures, uh, brush and ink and pen and ink is an advanced technique. Uh, but in Chinese and Japanese cult culture, you know, that would be a basic uh, drawing technique. Now, first I'm going to demo standing up here, and when I'm done with that, um, we'll get a chance to refill our coffee cups, and then I'm going to demonstrate some uh, historical uh, materials and, and, and methods um, on, on the table. And then, if we have time, I'll walk around each sample and tell you a, a, a little bit about them, but I, I may point them out as, uh, as uh, I'm doing the demonstrations, too. Okay, um, now for what we draw in my class, um, we start with direct observation. Uh, so we work from looking at um, real objects, so a wine bottle. In orange, a spear, basic volume, so block, spear, um, a compound cylinder. These are some of the basic forms we, we work with first. Um, and so, so I want to give you that structure first, and then if you can progress on to you know, complex still life or uh, uh, plein air landscapes, that's great. But, uh, We'll start with simple objects first and develop our skills and techniques with those. Okay, first I'm going to use um, the vine charcoal. When it's in this form, as opposed to a pencil, you can draw with it a couple different ways. One is on its side, <coughs> the edge, and you can get broad tone, or you can use it oops, side. on point, and you can get a line. Okay, so very quickly, uh, your form comes together, and if, if, if they use your tones right, you'll get a, a sense of where the light is. It's somewhere above, that's your light value, um, a mid-tone here, and darker shadows on this side. So you know a light is off in, in this direction. 